Hey, what is up, beautiful people? Kirby Hossaman here, trying to deliver you just a little bit more marketing joy. So in today's video, I wanna talk about 10, 10 specific tips that you can utilize to make your next event or trade show experience more effective. We wanna give you some things to dive in so that you can really make an impact. If you're gonna make that investment of time, investment of money, you might as well get bang for your buck on this. And so we're gonna give you 10 steps to do that. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos or, or the podcast, please feel free to subscribe wherever you are seeing them. And of course, if you know somebody who might get some value, I'd really appreciate if you'd share with it, this with them as well. So let's dive in today on the 10 steps that I would like to see you do on your next event or your next trade show experience. You want to get the most bang for your buck. Now, I want to start with sort of a bonus tip. The bonus tip is really just knowing your customer and knowing exactly who you're trying to reach. Now, what I mean by that is obviously if you're going to attend a trade show, you know, obviously you want to be reaching the target demo. And if that trade show doesn't do that, then you might as well not waste your time and your money. Now that doesn't count as one of the 10 tips, but you know, start by identifying that perfect customer because that really affects everything you do from here. So let's dive in. Step number one, get that registered email list. All the people who are going to attend the show, if you can even get the people who are going to be um, you know, showcasing at the show, if you can get an email list of that, I think that really can help you tell your story in advance of the event. And then of course, after the event as well. I have um, many friends in, who are doing marketing for their organizations and they don't attend an event unless they can get the email list of the attendees. And so if you can, try and get your email list in advance so that you can market to these folks both before and after the event. Step two, send them an email, a compelling email to tell them to come and see you. Now, one of the things I would say is that everybody is going to be getting an email. It seems like, I mean, this is one that everybody's kind of uh, caught onto that you should try to reach out and at least put your brand in front of folks before the trade show event. And I think that's good. But if you are just saying, hey, come see me at booth 1424, that, that email is immediately going to be deleted. So step two is email these, these folks, but email them with some value. And if you email them with value, you can actually email them more than once, in my opinion. So if you're sending them case studies or something that adds value to them specifically, which of course you got to know your audience in order to do that, then you can reach out to them and you're not just one of the many emails that they're going to be getting that just says, come and see me at the booth. Step three. If you really want to stand out, like I said, everybody's going to be emailing. If you want to really stand out, step three, send a direct mail piece that sort of matches the email. Kind of do that branding 101 where you do that one extra piece. If there's a thousand people, if you hit those folks with a postcard that like showcases what they can expect at the booth to see you. If there's an extra uh, gimme that you can kind of provide them in advance of the show, that really means something as well. So step one, two, and three are like that pre-show stuff where you're going to get the email list, you're going to email them, give them something of value. And then of course, the third thing is hit them with some sort of direct mail piece so that they really have the chance to recognize you, recognize your brand. If you're gonna have a couple people that are gonna be in the booth, take a picture of them in advance, include that in the email, include that in the postcard or the direct mail piece, and then you'll have a little bit more, not only brand recognition, but personal brand recognition as well. Step four, choose the staff staffers of the trade show booth wisely. I think so many people will actually just throw anybody at the booth. And if you've invested your time and, and your talent and your, and your money to send, you know, to, to go to one of these trade shows, boy, go send the people who actually know the sales process, send the people who can actually tell that story. If you're sending a spouse, I get it. But if they aren't able to tell your story, then you've wasted opportunities to get in front of great customers. So if you're going to have people staffing the booth, make sure they're great people and they can actually tell your story. Step five, I like to have a theme, have a theme for the booth. And, it, and now if you can have that theme match the theme of the event or at least tie it in together. That's going to make some of your marketing of the event a little bit easier. So if you want to create a theme and it's a beach theme and you have a, you have a bar and surfboards and all kinds of fun, do something that matches the brand of your organization, have a theme, and then you can build around it. And that's step five. 
Step six, have great merch. This is one of those things where sometimes we go cheap in this space. And this is the part where you have an opportunity to stand out, not only at the booth, at the trade show floor, but after the event as well. Don't go cheap here. This is where you're going to have that lasting impression because the people who are attending all of these trade shows are being inundated with sales pitches and people and products and services. And it's really hard for anybody. You've, if you've been a person who's attended a trade show, you know how hard it is to keep all of that those things straight once you get back to the office, you get back to the whirlwind. Well, one of the ways to stand out is to um, have a really cool piece of branded merch that are gonna drive people to your booth. When people see it, they're like, hey, where'd you get that? I want one of those and it drives people to your booth. But I also love that piece that when they're taking apart the bag, you know, the bag of goodies, the bag of swag, that they go, ooh, this is a piece I want to keep. I want to keep it on my desk. I want to keep it on my person. And those are the ones that I think have the, the biggest impact. So if you're going to do a piece of branded merch, do a piece of branded merch that has lasting power. Next up, tip seven, have a VIP gift. Now, this isn't for, you're not going to be giving this to everybody, but this is the piece where you spend just a little bit more time and money and give that that, that really nice tumbler, that really nice uh, backpack, that really nice, whatever, you set the budget on this. But these are for those people that you have really special conversations with. Or, and if you've selected your, your client base well, right, that trade show well, you might actually run into people that you're already doing business with. This is an opportunity for you to go underneath the table, pull out the special gift, make them feel like a VIP. You might not have to order, you know, 24 of these. But do something that's really, really cool so that they leave and go, wow, I had a great experience um, at the show. And this is the one that really has the lasting impression and makes them feel super special. It's one of those that I like to call appreciation marketing. So now we've done the pre-show. We've done the show. And now it's after the show. And the reality of it is the fortune is in the follow-up. So the first thing you're going to do is hopefully you're going to capture, you know, the folks that attended your booth. You're going to capture the attendee list, follow up with some sort of email or email sequence. Now, this is sort of the lowest bar you can do it. But just like I mentioned earlier, the folks who are attending your booth are inundated with information. And if you can stand out with something fun, something related to your brand, anything that gives them value, do that. Send them an email that follows up. I like to send an email sequence because they'll get the follow-up. Maybe they get another follow-up after the um, after the event a week later, maybe another week later, something where it's like they're seeing your name over and over. Give them an opportunity to, to reach out again and sort of reconnect. Number nine, follow up with some sort of mailer. So follow up with some sort of card. This is just, a, again, the email is going to be the base thing that pretty much everybody does. Now's the time where you stand out, right? So number one, put something or put something in front of them that is tangible on their desk that they go, oh yes, that's right. And obviously this will follow up maybe a week or so after the event, something with a call to action. They can go to a webinar. They can come learn more information. They can get a free sample, something where there's that gets on their desk and gets in front of them one more time. And number 10, the last three tips are all follow up. Follow up with a phone call. So many of us are like afraid of the phone. We've got this amazing device that we have and it's like we want to use it for everything except actually making a call. If you've invested this time, if you've invested your treasure and your time and your talent, boy, pick up the phone and call, especially those ones that you had great conversations with. You, The ones that you got business cards, the ones that you really felt like you connected with, whether it was at the show or after hours, pick up the phone and try to further that relationship, further that conversation. And when you do all 10 of these, then I think you're gonna get more out of the investment that you make into your trade show. So I hope that has provided you some value. Please feel free to subscribe and share, and I will keep these coming. We'll see you next time.